All right, so we're looking at question one from 2015 first semester. And it says, Morris is a trainee accountant for buy it and sell them. One of Morris's jobs is to collect cash from customers, which he places in a desk drawer until he deposits the cash in the company bank account at the end of the week. When customers default on their outstanding account balances, Morris has the responsibility of updating the balance of accounts receivable by making adjustments for bad debts. The entity recently received a bank statement for the month ended 31st of May 2015. Uh, the bank statement showed a closing balance of $15,339 credit, but according to the buy and sell and bank uh, accounting records, the balance in their cash at bank ledger was 15820 debit. A comparison of the accounts and the, the bank account and the accounting records reveal the following things. Bank fees and charges of 510 were recorded in the bank state, but not in buying and selling accounting records. The bank incorrectly withdrew from the buy and sell and bank account for the amount of 725. The bank has already accepted the mistake and advised the company that the correction would be made in the next bank statement. Previous months, uh, being April 2015, bank reconciliation statement showed an outstanding deposit of 12,000, oh, 12, This amount still has not appeared in the current month's bank statement. The bank statement includes a debit entry of 1,040 for a dishonoured cheque. This amount is yet to be adjusted in the accounting records. The bank statement listed a deposit of 1,900, which does not appear in the cash receipts journal. This amount was paid in by the uh, debtor via direct debit. And Jimmy deposited 6,050 to the company's bank account on the 31st of May. This amount did not appear in the bank statement. So Jimmy is obviously another employee. We had the following checks, which are uh, outstanding at the end of the month. Uh, so I've got a few. Now, it asked me to prepare a bank reconciliation for buying and selling as at the 31st of May 2015. Okay, so when we prepare a bank reconciliation, we've been given the items that are the discrepancies. So now we just need to work out, is it an adjusting item or is it a reconciling item? Now an adjusting item means I'll have to adjust my general ledger. And a reconciling item means I just carry it in my reconciliation. So let's have a look at the first item. Bank fees of 510 were recorded in the bank statement, but not in the buying and selling accounting records. Adjusting or reconciling? Adjusting. What about a the bank incorrectly withdrew from buying and selling's uh, bank account an amount of 725? The bank's accepted the mistake. Adjusting or reconciling? It's a reconciling. Previous months, uh, bank reconciliation state, statement showed an outstanding balance of 1250. That has not appeared in the current. Adjusting or reconciling? Reconciling. The bank statement includes a, de uh, a debit entry for 1040 for a dishonoured cheque. This amount is yet to be adjusted in the accounting records. Adjusting. The bank statement showed a deposit of 1900 which did not appear in the cash receipts journal. This amount was paid in by a direct debit. Adjusting or reconciling? Adjusting. Yeah, adjusting. Uh, Jimmy deposited 650, 6050 into the company's bank account on the 31st of May. This amount did not appear in the bank statement. Reconciling, yeah. What about my um, checks? Reconciling. Reconciling, yep. So now you've done the hard work. The rest of it's easy. So we, all we have to do now is adjust our bank account. So that's this number here. So I'm adjusting my bank account to reflect these adjustment entries and the rest of them should be reconciling entries. So we just have to get a new bank balance. So let's do my bank balance now. OK, 
cash at bank. So my cash at bank, now it said that I had a debit balance of 15,820. Fifteen eight twenty. Now it said bank fees and charges of five hundred and ten were recorded in the bank statement, but not in the buy and sell them. So, am I making a debit adjustment or a credit adjustment here? Credit, credit adjustment. So I'm reducing my bank balance. So what do we call it? Uh, bank fees. Five ten. And tick that one off. That's a reconciling, reconciling. The bank statement includes a debit entry of um, 1,040 for a dishonoured check. This amount is yet to be changed in my accounting records. Am I adjusting for a debit or credit, or increasing or decreasing my bank account? It's a credit side. Yep. Okay. So dishonour. Dishonoured only ever comes from customers. So what was the amount for? 141040. So uh, there's my adjusting. The bank statement listed a deposit of 1900, which does not appear in the cash receipts. Am I increasing or decreasing my bank account? Increasing. So that's over this side. What do we call it? Uh, deposit. And I've got reconciling, reconciling. So, okay. So now I'm going to do what I call balancing the account. Who's got a calculator with them? No. 15, 16, 16, 8, 20, 17, 7, 20. Is that what people get? And all I have to do is make my other side equal 17, 7, 20. And I'll find out what my balance is. So what have I got here? I've got 1550, 16170. I like that, fast. So this would be my balance that I'm gonna try and reconcile to. So that's, a, that's the first step. So that's step one in this part A. So now what I'm gonna try and do is now I'm gonna reconcile my account. So. Bank reconciliation. For buy it and sell them. Uh, for the month of for the month of what month are we doing? May. 2015. So now my balance as per bank statement. And my balance as per my bank statement was this number up here, which is 15339. And now I'm going to tick off what's called my reconciling items. So there's four reconciling items. Now what I want to do is I want to add my outstanding deposits. Now uh, let's have a look. I've got an outstanding deposit here of 1250. So that's that one. And I think I've got another outstanding deposit, do I? Yeah, so this one's an outstanding deposit of 6050 So I just got two. And what's that come to? 7300 So 7300 Let's have a look at what else I got before I put totals in. The bank incorrectly withdrew from Bayard and Salem Enterprises uh, 725 so am I going to be increasing or decreasing this balance? Increasing. So I'm going to add this in as well. So add my incorrect withdrawal. And how much was it for? 725. 
So that ticks off on that. So I've got one, uh, and I've ticked off this one as well. So I've only really got one, which is my unpresented checks. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just get a total here. <coughs> and what's my total come to? I oh, know. Why should I title? Uh, less unpresented checks. Has anyone got a total of what my unpresented checks are? We could do it in individually. How much? 7194. Now, what I'll do is I'll just put them in there anyway. 01, 06, 15. So 1115, 2189, and 3890. Okay, what have we got now? So now that's a less than, so I'm going to bracket that. Now, if I add all this up, what do I get? I get uh, 7, 8, 8, 0, 2, 5, 23, 0, 2, 5, 23, 3, 2, 5, plus 46, 4. So 23, 3, 6, 4. 23, 3, 6, 4. Now, if I deduct 7, 1, 9, 4 from that, I should get... Actually, I do get 7 less that is 16 less, yep, so it all looks good. And you can see that you've worked it out correctly because it equals. So that's part A. Anyone got any questions at this point? I didn't do it in that format. So That's okay. What I'm looking for is that you know how to build a, a ledger like this. So you give me a balance that you're going to reconcile back to. And then you show me the steps that come back to that. That's really what I'm looking for. If you use slightly different formats, that's okay. As long as I can understand what's going on. If you make it un if it's not understandable, I, I get difficulties with it. And when I get difficulties, I, I put this on papers a bit. Okay, so you don't want you want me to just do an oh yeah, look at that, beautiful, oh beautiful, look at that, wow, this guy's fantastic. That's what you want me thinking about you at the end of this. All right. Okay, so now let's have a look at B. Okay, so B says identify two weaknesses in the internal control situations of buy and sell them enterprises and briefly explain the possible consequences. All right, so where where are my weaknesses? We sort of, now, because we've given you this little blurb that doesn't necessarily relate to a bank reconciliation, but relates to internal controls, which is what a bank reconciliation is. Where in here can you see some weaknesses in internal controls? Puts the money in his desk drawer. Puts the money in his desk drawer, so we've got some problem with physical controls. And it's actually an unlocked desk drawer. So I've got some problem with physical controls. Is there any others? And banks at, at the end of the week. Banks at the end of the week. What's the problem with that? Um, paper. Paper? No. Nah, 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 nah. Reconciling. Reconciling. What about reconciling? We've already done our reconciliation here, so. But if there was a mistake. Segregation of duties, thank you very much. So what's my segregation of duties that I, I've got problems with? Okay, so he's able to collect and update records. So that's one problem. And um, he also collects and deposits. Now, I think you only had to give me one each. Or one of the, so if you gave me that and that, you got full marks. So if you gave me two for segregation of duties, that would be okay as well. 
So that's pretty much it.